Oh, good morning, guys. It is about... Hi. Hi. Hi, Regan. I look nasty. <laughs> no, you don't. I look nastier. <laughs> anyway, it's about 10 o'clock, so I actually didn't even end up going to bed till like, 2 last night, because I... I did, but then I woke up at 2 and stayed up for, like, 2 hours. Well, like, you know, like, when you when you sleep in so long, you know, it's uh, the day before. I mean, I got, like, 12 hours of sleep the night before, so, I mean, like... I I only got like seven today, and I you know I woke up a little before ten, and like I'm you know I'm I'm still well rested, so uh, probably a lot of I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do today, honestly. Chill out. Chill out, maybe clean a bathroom, and you know. <laughs> mm. I know I do sound like Grampy, so I'm gonna pack my suitcase. Let's see, I don't know, fifty. All right, guys. It's about uh, one o'clock, and I figured it's probably about the right time of the day where I could uh, I could do a little news update for the day. Uh, quite a bit shorter today. Nothing of too much substance. Just uh, just a couple quick updates since yesterday, because you know during this whole thing there's a, there's a, really a lot of new news. Um, first of all, France and Spain. Uh, you know, Italy is already all locked down. Um, so apparently both France and Spain are looking at doing a similar thing. I don't know. I didn't really read up too much on it. I don't know if it's to a similar magnitude, if they're just completely locking everything down. I wouldn't be surprised. So, um, so yeah, France and Spain are both doing that. Um, just completely shutting everything down. I mean, the way that the U.S. is right now, I mean, we're already looking like we're pretty much... We've just done it more gradually, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, let's see... President Trump turned back, uh, he, uh, he turned out negative for coronavirus, so, you know, just generally you don't want a sitting U.S. president to have it, so that's good. Um, oh yeah, um, on a more local level, uh, we had our first case here within Monroe County, uh, I, I don't know if it was last night or today that they reported it, but yay, we now have a case in my own home county, so that's fun. I don't know where, uh, somewhere within the county, I mean, it's a pretty big county, but it's, not that big, so, you know, a little concerning, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. So Disney, this is probably, this is Disney's last day open for a while uh, until the end of the month. Um, they're closing. Tomorrow's their first day that they're officially closed. Uh, you know, they had to have that day or two kind of cushion to close things up. And um, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, uh, Norwegian Cruises, and MSC... Um, at, I don't know if this was a direct, like, executive order, or if they just sort of did this in conjunction with, like, President Trump's orders or whatever, his desires, uh, but they're all shutting down all, all outbound cruises for 30 days, um, so they're, that, that, you know, obviously that's just something that, you know, it's just sort of common sense, um, I don't know about if there are any cruises out there that are still coming back in, I wouldn't be surprised, I guess, probably not too many, but... No, I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen. So anyway, not too much else to report today. Just a few smaller uh, updates. And I'm going to go out kayaking in a little bit here, then maybe clean a bathroom a little bit later. You know, got to get some of that stuff done. Maybe tomorrow I'll clean up my room finally. That place is a pigsty, man. But uh, other than that, just, you know, we're still just, well, we're not even really hunkering down. We're just, you know, we're just living our lives, you know? I mean, if we get it, we get it. There's really nobody... I mean, obviously, that would be kind of a nightmare because they'd be all like, oh, quarantine. But, um, but you know, at this point, I mean, there's nobody here. You know, my grandpa's in Florida. He's probably going to be there till like, June because, uh, you know, normally my dad comes down, goes down there to get him in, like, May. And he, the only reason that he really was set on a specific date uh, was because of... Uh, you know, that's when National Math Counts is, and he likes to work at that, but uh, they might not even have one. They might not even have a National Math Count, so we'll have to see. Um, you know, my grandpa's pretty much said that it might be easier for him to come back after we go down there and visit for our normal summer vacation. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And But but anyway, yeah, where I was going with that was that um, there's really nobody at high risk here. Uh, it's just, I mean, the highest risk people are really my parents. I mean, they're both, well, they're 43 and 44, so, I mean, they're not at terribly high risk. And, you know, my sister and I, were young. We, we've got good metabolisms. Not not that metabolism matters in the <laughs> in the coronavirus case, but, you know, we're, we're, we're young. We have good immune systems, and, and there's many. Hi, Minnie. 
So anyway, that's pretty much the news for today. And um, time to probably in a little bit, we're going to head to the Metro Park here with my dad. I'm going to go out kayaking. And uh, the, you know, on a lighter note, the water's about it's about 40 now. So it's getting quite a bit warmer and it's getting warmer fast because around the western edge here where it's quite a bit shallower, um, it actually warms up quite a bit quicker. Like a week ago, we were still looking at like 34, so getting quite a bit All better. All right, guys, we are headed to the Metro Park now. I got my kayak loaded up back there, and today there's actually a crowd of people or a crowd of cars right up there. It's honestly sort of surprising to me. I mean, surprising but not surprising. Like, I mean, like, their logic is the same as ours, and, like, I really appreciate that logic, but, like, like yesterday there were not nearly as many people out here, so... I mean, it is a nice sunny day, no clouds in sight. So, I mean, yeah, who knows, maybe I won't be the, I, I'm sure I won't be the only kayak out Such there. It's a nice day out here, man. There's a boat there, a couple other kayakers there. Some geese there. <laughs> and, of course, some people fishing, so. It's kind of one of those days where it's like, it's sort of wavy, but, like, at the same time, it's, like, very shorter. It's a lot, the waves are a lot shorter, so. They don't come crashing at you quite as much, so let's go ahead and head on out. Stay out on the water here. There are those other paddlers over there. It's absolutely beautiful. Everything's kind of crashing up against me here, all these little waves as I go by, but nothing more than just sort of smaller splashes. And uh, next I'm gonna turn around that corner and that's gonna take me up to the marina in Gibraltar where I'm gonna re-enter these canals here. So, let's go guys, not really liking these bigger waves over here all that much, so I'm going to turn back this way, go right back around that corner and head back to where it's a bit calmer. Definitely the safer option here. Quite a bit safer than probably head back up the canal. And oh, the trail. Uh, right over there. That's where it empties back out into the uh, Detroit River, this little canal. And I don't know if you guys remember back from my last day of August vlog here. Um, they were building something right there, so I guess they're done with whatever that is. Boy, just the sheer force of the waves here. I'm not even paddling, obviously, but... Just, man. Woo! Going pretty fast. But hey, it's been pretty exhausting getting up here, getting upstream, but... Uh, not that this is a river, but it's been pretty exhausting. But going back down this way, it should be pretty easy. Maybe I'll stop and even get a drink of water. Definitely a good day for fishing. Got a couple of people out here with their fishing boats. Michigan. Winter and construction season. <laughs> I got some sort of crane over there. I wonder if they're working on some sort of dock or just helping the erosion or something. I don't know. But, so we're going to head back in these canals. I actually started right over there before. And then remember that's where I went over that direction. Then came back here. Normally what I'll do is I'll go down that way. And then there's like a part where these two canals both meet. And then I'll turn down that way and then go sort of there's a little cut across there that brings you out to there but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna go that way curve around come back this way then go curving around that little bit of land there so been a really nice day out so far especially back here in the canals where it's really not wavy at all I mean unless you count these little boop you know it's weird because it's like I don't know if this is just me but no matter what like the water can be friggin 80 degrees um, no matter what I feel like whenever you first touch the surface of the water, it always feels exactly the same. And it's weird. And I, I don't know why that is, but it just seems like that. Kayak crossing, yes sir. Doc, but I'd really like to meet that person. <laughs> I would really love to do that. It's a really good idea. <laughs> just, you know, this one night, just want to go sleep out by the water. You know, why not? <laughs> Under the bridge we go. Yay, I can't really paddle while I'm taking a video, but. Gibraltar, Michigan. There you go, I just went under that bridge there. And uh, I guess that's where people probably keep some of their boats. A couple, couple of them obviously down this way. And uh, right at the end there, that's where I'm going to turn around. Because that's where it empties out into the river slash lake. This is sort of like the very northern end of Lake Erie. Like I'd say pretty much anywhere north of this marina, you couldn't really make a case that it's really lake-like anymore. But... Not that the technical terms really, you know, matter all that much. So I'm going to head this way and then I'm going to turn around. And as you can see, I'm already drifting back, so it should be easier going back. Time to be turning around. Huh. Let's see if I can... If only you could. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, i got to navigate this kayak. Beep, beep, beep. 
All right, I probably would be easier to do this without a phone in my hand. Guys, I am just about done with my pedal for the day. All I have to do, uh, these are where the two channels come back together. All I have to do is just go straight across there to that parking lot and then I'll be done probably about another quarter mile or so. so. Not too much further, and I'm just about right on my time frame here. My dad said to be back by 3.30, it's about 3.20, maybe about 3.25 by the time I actually get back there, so. Definitely been a nice day out here, glad I came out. Fun. Man, sure is busy out here today compared to every other day during March. <laughs> In total, I went 4.78 miles, so almost five miles, a little shy of five miles. And, uh, and my dad should be here pretty soon to to come drag me in huh. and so i imagine we're just gonna go home and i'll probably clean out my mom's bathroom because she's been wanting me to do that for a while and sure is a nice day out here i mean it's sort of one of those where it's almost it, in this wetsuit especially it almost feels hot when you're when there's no wind but then when there is wind it's nice and refreshing it's just like ah so seems like you should be here in a minute Now we're watching Mickey cartoons because that's just what we feel like. Yeah, that's this is, what you play. This is how we're going to pass our time for the next few weeks slash months. <laughs> and there are five seasons? Really? Actually, I guess it doesn't surprise me. But they play the same, like, five or six over and over when we're at, at Old Disney, Key West, yeah. so yeah. Well, we went, when we went last year, I turned on the TV and there was a new episode on. I was like, what's this? And I was like... So no way. <laughs> And of course, it's. Would you guys both go to Taco yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, it's Taco. It's Taco Sunday, and two days from now it'll be Taco Tuesday. So you know we're we're enjoying that too. All right, guys. So a little bit of uh, developing news. Uh, something that's in itself isn't necessarily um, drastic for everybody in the country in general, um, but probably just like in the, in the long run it's going to end up being just the first stepping stone in a lot of, um, just a lot of adopted policies coming up here. Uh, so about 47, I don't know, it, it said on Twitter it was 47 minutes ago, but it was probably more like an hour ago. Um, uh, we, uh, down in Ohio, Governor Mike DeWine issued a, an executive order basically banning dine-in restaurants. So... In other words, you can still do takeout, but, you know, you can't sit down and just have a nice family dinner or so, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, I get it, I guess. I mean, it may be a bit drastic, I guess, but I guess I get it, you know. Um, I guess, I, I mean, personally, I don't think, I think it's a bit, I mean, obviously it's still a big issue, but it's a little too... Like, I don't know that we necessarily need to be closing places down. Um, I mean, I can only imagine that probably Michigan's next. Uh, just when is the question here. Um, but then again, is someone coming back here? I just want some chocolate milk. Go ahead, get your chocolate milk. Yeah! All right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just, uh, although, I mean, I would say probably, if I had to guess, then, um, you know... Probably a few other states, at least, will follow in this. Uh, but then again, Ohio's been a bit, you know, a, a, a little, how do I put it? Not overprotective isn't the word. That's not the word I'm looking for. But, you know, they, they've had some, a lot more drastic, oh. what? Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> wait. So they've had a lot more drastic policies that, than, um, than a lot of the rest of the states. So I guess I wouldn't necessarily count on this being a precedent. Ohio's but been overreacting. Yeah, they kind of have a little bit. But um, I just, <laughs> I mean, I guess no, we can't go down to Toledo and get some Chick-fil-A, but hey, if we want to make the drive up to Lansing or to uh, where else? Where was the other place? Allen Park, that was the other place they have. We can do that. <laughs> stuck in here, so. What's that? Oreo's stuck in here. Oh, Anyway, so like I said, you can still do carry out and stuff like that. But I mean, you'd have to think that a lot of these places, uh, you know, their business would be primarily dine-in, you know, just completely dine-in service. And I mean, I don't know, I guess 
economically, this just seems like it's going to do quite a bit of damage, at least in my opinion. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Who knows? We really don't know how this is going to affect things long term. We really won't know for a couple of years. I mean, looking back on this, you know, they always say hindsight is, is uh, always twenty twenty. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it is twenty twenty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but uh, so I know I'm I'm not really saying anything of of much substance, but that's that's the biggest new news here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Michigan follows. Let's. I mean, I I really hope they don't because I need somewhere to go. I need I need to take a field trip every once in a while. I cannot physically stay in my house. Um, I guess the biggest lifesaver is that they're not going to close outdoor parks. So that's the one thing that's going to keep my sanity at least somewhat alive here. Anyway, just a, just a little update for you guys. Feeding time. Papa, get yeah, off the day counter. Day. Kitty, get off the counter. You know you're not supposed to be up there. Uh, uh, I know he's, I this is one of those things that when you have five cats, hey, look at them. They go crazy. You guys go crazy, huh, don't you? Yeah, one, two, three. If only Darby will ever come down from my room. Yeah. And here I am about to beat Reagan in, in trouble while watching Mickey cartoons. Ron! Isn't this song in Coco? Maybe. I want to say it is. Four. One, two, three, four. Maybe it's just because it's like a Spanish song. We are now playing Uno with cards that we never shuffled, and it's making it very easy for either of us really to win. So I guess that sort of evens it out then. I only have, I have four left. I think I'm going to win, though. Two of them are. This is the second time in a row that I had to draw four because I forgot to say Uno. <laughs> Uno! Boom. You didn't say what color it was, though. Uh, yellow. Say, you know. Yellow. All right, put down your wild card. Boom! I'm out. Well, one more round, or you want to play a different game? Now? One more round, buddy. Reagan, we're gonna keep playing until I win. Because you're an idiot. And then and you don't all. Know how to play Uno. And then all night we're just keep playing, just and then it's like, and then it's like two in the morning. To say Uno. And then it's like two in the morning, and then she barely squeaks out a win, and we finally go to bed. Let's oh, see. So this is turn. like, do, do, what the, like the do, fifth do, time do. shuffling? This is the fifth time shuffling. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now nice. it is your turn because Let's I put down a while. What have I got? I guys just got done with another one of my runs. Uh, two miles this time, rather than a mile and a half before. So uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower and put my pajamas on and chill out for a little bit. You know, it's just to, and I don't have to go to bed at a certain time. I mean, I'm not gonna stay up till two a.m. or first anything. Day of online but schooling. yeah, online schooling. <laughs> I guess uh, I get to. Well, I would say I would know how homeschool people feel, but it's not like my mom's individually teaching me, so she actually has to go into her school tomorrow, so that's fun. But, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I sure am exhausted right now, though. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about 11. Uh, the parentals have, uh, they've gone to bed. <laughs> um, I think Regan's upstairs, so I guess that's where I'm going to end my vlog for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down there in that their uh, comment section. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow for uh, Corona Time Day number four. See y'all later.